Hi, my name is Chell, and today I'm going to show you my first video tutorial on how to have a visible spectrogram on your music videos. I found that when I made videos through Reaper, I could not, for the life of me, figure out how to have this just a little bit of visual input in the videos. Um, just a little bit of visuals can go a long way for having your videos be noticed, and I figured that if I could do that, I would probably get a lot more traction with my posting. Whenever I asked my friends how they added a little bit of motion into their videos with a spectrogram, uh, they always told me that they used some sort of premium subscription-based video editing software, and I do not make enough videos for that to be worth it. I tried downloading a free software called DaVinci Resolve, which is really, really good. However, it does not have any abilities to do that either. And in order to get that spectrogram, I would need to download a third-party plugin. If I had to do that, I figured I might as well figure out how to do it on Reaper. And I did, which is why I'm making this tutorial today. So right here we have the audio file, which is the theme for the ice levels for Noobs in Space, which is a game that is being made by Zelgar Games that I'm working on right now. But we want this to be a video, so we're gonna add a visual element. All we need is a image. So here I have a PNG of the logo. I'm just going to expand this to be about the length of the song. And here we go. If you do Control Shift V on Windows, you'll see that this opens up the video window. I'm just gonna move this down here in the center. And if I play this, you have a video. It's just an image with a song, but you can export it as a video and it will suffice. But that said, we can do better. So the first thing we want to do is we're actually going to mute this for now. When you mute it, you don't get to see in the video. That's okay. We're going to need to add two plugins to our audio file. There is the JS video over sample peaker. And that we're just going to leave it as it is. And we're also going to need the video processor. Once you have the video processor open, you actually can go down to the presets and see that there's a lot of options. There's actually two that you can use. There's Synthesis Decorative Spectrum and Synthesis Decorative Oscilloscope. I'm gonna show you Spectrum first because I actually don't like it as much, but you can just see this is what it looks like. Looks pretty fine, but I'm going to show you the oscilloscope. And here you have a pretty cool looking video element already. Now there's actually a couple of different things that this does. Right now here is mode zero, which is a horizontal line. If I change this to one, it becomes a vertical line. And if I change it to mode two, it becomes a point in the center. I'm gonna go back to mode zero. Now, uh, to get out of the way some of the simpler things, we're going to show you that X, Y raises and lowers the center of it. This is the Y. And if you do X, you can't really see it here, but it moves things left and right. Now, if you go to the top, you see point count. Point count is set to 1200 default. If you turn it up, you get more individual dots. And if you turn it down, well, this is up still. If you turn it down, you get, of course, fewer. Point size is, of course, how big each dot is. So you've turned it up, they become significantly blockier. Gain is how reactive it is. So if you have it set higher, it will peak higher. And if you, of course, set it lower, it becomes much flatter. Going back to the default for this one. Blitter zoom and blitter persist. Zoom shows you just how big it is going to be and how spread out they are. This actually has this cool element where it has this sort of Star Wars effect to it if you set it to all the way to the left. And if you set it to the right, it goes to the opposite. This is about what I did. Blitter Persist is how long and how dark those extra waves are. So if I set the Persist higher, uh, they're significantly darker. And of course, lower, you don't even see it at all. I'm going to be honest, I have no idea what Blitter Filter is. I've tried, I don't know. Background, 
is just the background. We're gonna leave this as black because the background for our logo is also black. But if it's not, you can try and match that. I'm gonna leave this as black because that's how it fits. And the foreground, you can change the color of the lines. Uh, I had mine to be about purple, so we're just gonna turn on that green. This is kind of a nice pinkish purple. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna lower the Y a little bit more. All right, so here we go with this kind of cool spectrogram element to it. But when we turn back on the image, you'll see that it completely overrides the spectrogram, which is very unfortunate. How do you get both on? You're going to want to go and add a video processor on the track with the image on it. And when you go to the presets, you're going to want to go to overlay image. Now you can see that these two are now working in tandem together. I'm going to move the Y offset just a little bit upwards, just a little bit more. There we go. So now I have both elements in it. I can also lower the opacity. So let's just put it back to the original Y and we can even go back to the original Y for this. Now, if I lower the opacity, you can see that it's significantly more visible, but because this is the video game's branding, I want to have this as visible as possible. I could actually leave it like this here, but instead I'm going to offset these again and just have them like this. You can also zoom in and out. I'm going to zoom out oh so slightly and just set the Y off a little bit. And there you go. That's how you have a visual element using only Reaper. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If you like it, please leave a comment. Um, ask me for more, I guess. I don't know if this is something that I will keep trying to do, but I figured that since this was something that I spent many hours trying to figure out, it would help someone else down the road. So thank you for watching and I hope you have a nice day.